What did you take from that, Stu? What did I say? Can you sum that up? Sure. Uh, mm -hmm. You said it was there 9-11. I mm -hmm. mean, I think obviously iconic buildings falling was what you were talking about. Mm -hmm. it's, it's funny because the way the spire fell, what it reminded me of in that moment was the Saddam Hussein statue falling. Mm -hmm. And at no point did I think there was an, inv uh, an invading force that was trying to liberate Notre Dame, right? Mm -hmm. Like, I, that's just not what I thought. So, I mean, it, it, you yeah, know, I thought with it, the smoke and the way it yeah, collapsed and it makes, not, not just the way it collapsed. Being in a huge, iconic building. Yeah. It, this is, you know, our image of financial impenetrable stability was taken down mm -hmm. because it's Wall Street, it's New York, yep. it's these gigantic, immovable towers, okay? It didn't have the importance. Those were buildings. It didn't have the importance of Notre Dame, but it had the, in some ways, Wall Street has the soul of the capitalist nation. Yeah, and that's and why they targeted it. That's why they targeted mm -hmm. it. So the same thing, when I'm saying this, this, I, I keep saying it's the heart of France, you mm -hmm. know, it's an iconic building, it's more important than the Eiffel Tower, to the French. Mm -hmm. That strikes to their soul of who they are. You don't just wipe that off the map. And so what I was saying with 9-11, it's their 9-11. They have been just sucker punched in the gut. Now, remember, our 9-11, we didn't know who did it. Nope, we didn't know not 9-11. We had no idea. We had absolutely no idea who did this to us. On 9-11, we were freaked out. On 9-12, which was there yesterday, okay, what did they do? They started raising money. They started coming together. France has never been more united. That's their 9-12. Now, if they find out that somebody did this, they will respond as we did. But it looks like, and I said, you know, it's amazing. Did you catch? If it's arson, it's bad. If it's arson from a foreign entity, it's worse. If it's arson from terror, mm -hmm. even worse. We know it could be, a, they say now it could be a cigarette. So if it's a cigarette, but a huge if is if it's Islamic terrorists, you won't hear about it. Yeah, I mean, that's all the stuff that I wrote down, basically. I mean, the fact that the first thing that you mentioned as a possible cause was a mass renovation, period. That was the first thing you talked about, mm -hmm. number one. And that was about where we were on the reporting. We didn't know what the uh, case was at that point. Um, and in addition to that, uh, they the one thing that was suggested as a possibility was the mass renovation. Now, of course, if you had come out, let's just say you had come out and said, Hey guys, you know what happened was um, I I believe this was Islamists. This is they they did this. This is this is them. You would have been wrong, okay, mm -hmm. in this particular case. However, as you point out, they have done this. They have attacked this exact building multiple times in the past couple they of years. They said it was the number one target yeah. of ISIS in Europe. So it would not have been insane no. to think that was true. Though you didn't think of it as the number one possibility. You said it was mass renovation was the number one possibility. You said it could have been a cigarette. You could have said uh, it could have been the yellow vests, um, which is, you know, again... None of that ever gets mentioned in any of the tweets about no, it. No, of course not. Because there's a line there. There's there's a line about when you're doing a show like this and you're you know we're talking off the top of our heads for four hours a day. There's a there's two lines. There's one where you can actually say something wrong. Mm -hmm. You can legitimately say something that you screwed up mm -hmm. and you're going to get a beating for it. And you understand that. Mm -hmm. Some, it's happened with you. You said things where you're like, ah, I wish I said that another way. And you take the beating and you're like, ah, this is what I meant. But, you know, you know, you're on the wrong side of it or you can understand how people I don't take a word way. of that back. I think all no. of that was very clear. The other standard, which is the standard applied on social media and by, you know, left wing uh, organizations that are you know, whose sad lives are filled with listening to your programs over and over again to try to find something they can use against you is is different. It's it's can did we say something that someone can act as if they believe was bad? Can they act as if they believe what you meant was terrible? Like I know, you know, doing the show with you, you said um uh you talked about uh it, I I don't think if it's Islamic extremists, you might not even find out about it because now, they why did I say that? Right, exactly. The, the reason you said that, and you explained it, of course, mm -hmm. was that you, there's so much internal strife there right now that if something came out about that, it could cause a real inflammation of the whole society, a lot of it against Muslims, by and, the way. Right, and did I attach a good thing or a bad thing to that? 
How do you Not mean? finding out. Did I say that was good that you wouldn't find out or bad that you would find out? That you wouldn't find out. You were kind of saying it was good. Yeah. <laughs> I was saying it will cause massive problems. Right. And I don't think anybody in France wants that. And I don't want that. That could be that could be the catalyst that sets it on fire. So before Newsweek and everybody, I was trending nationally yesterday. <laughs> okay. With lies. Yes. Absolute lies. Before that, I A had Jason on, our chief researcher, who I had put up and said, stay up all night. I want you to find out everything you can. Look for the conspiracy theories so we can debunk them right away. Find out mm -hmm. what you can. And so you we talked about it on the air. We started the show with that. Then yesterday, I said, this may be a blessing because it takes that iconic thing away, which would absolutely start a religious war. It would absolutely start it. If this was ISIS and it takes that off of the plate so great. it can't be used, I think how, 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 well, well, instead what they say is when you say, uh, well, you might not find out about it. What they, again, I don't, they don't believe this, but what they're trying to make their, I was going to say, Arthur Brooks is in my head, so I'm not going to say dumb people who visit their websites, but the people who visit their websites, mm -hmm. what they're trying to make them believe is that what you're saying is if you hear it's construction, they're lying which is not at all what you were saying. No. Nope. You did not say that at all. You never said that publicly. You never said nope. that privately. That is not what you were saying. No. Nope. You were saying uh, something completely different, which you just explained. Um, but again, the, the goal of these organizations is not to find an example of you saying something wrong. It's something that they, uh, it's something that they can plausibly act like they believe was wrong. They can, they can go on, they can say, they do this all the time. You take a statement and you act as if, well, that is their entire viewpoint on this. And I can make them look dumb if I tweet this and act like I don't think they know anything else about the topic. 